So uh, the big story today is that uh, Bray Wyatt has been released from WWE. They actually tweeted it. Then they pulled the tweet. And then they tweeted it again. And uh, he is gone. And he was scheduled to return, like, literally at any time. Yeah, this month, um, or in a couple weeks. Um, he was advertised on some shows and everything, yeah. So he'd been out for medical reasons, and he had just gotten cleared. And I guess when he got cleared, they uh, evaluated the situation, and he was told that due to budgetary reasons that uh, he is being cut. Um, the basic gist is, is that you know he's another high-contract guy, and... Whatever they, you know, whether whether it's because of the concern over the medical reasons is the real reason or they could not come up with an idea that would justify his salary. I don't know which of that it is, but, um, you know, that's that is the basic deal with him. And um, it, it's an interesting one because I I don't know that he fits in. AEW, but he is a big star, so it's it's also like I don't know that they I don't know if they take him I don't know if they don't take him um, I don't know what happens with him next honestly but um, um, you know sometimes I think that from listening to Vince on Thursday that maybe Vince is going to rope a dope you know with this idea that uh, thinking that he will cut big money people and then they will sign big money people for big money. And that's the way he'll have them losing money. And that's the way he'll get rid of them. I don't know that, you know, I mean, he, you, you can read a million things and it's all bullshit with Vincent anyway, but, um, you know, the, uh, the deal as far as, um, he did say maybe we could give him more talent. So that's some snide remark. I don't know if Vince even has a clue of what's going on in this wrestling war um, in the sense that, you know, other than, I guess, you know, Moxley and Jericho are, are, are big names and, and, you know, uh, Malachi Black will, you know, it will be a big name um, over there. Andrade, the jury's certainly out. But, you know, most of the names from there, I guess in his own way, he probably takes credit for Cody, even though Cody had been gone for years. Um, and for that matter, Jericho had been gone too, but, um, you know, the, he probably thinks that, you know, it's another one of those companies that takes his talent and, and starts up and, you know, he's all mad about it, forgetting, of course, the entire history of his own company. But, uh, you know, that's Vince for you. You know, it does seem that uh, a couple of years ago when AEW was, Getting off the ground, WWE went on this massive hiring spree, and then they were signing these people to contracts that were like ridiculously high and offering people double the money. And now here we well, are, two years later. Were ridiculously high. They still, they're still, they're still underpaying talent. But well, my did. my point, Dave, is ridiculously high compared to what they were getting before. Doubling someone's contract because there's another wrestling company. Well, I yeah, mean, yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone's contract, everyone's contract moved up in in, in pay by yes. a lot because of competition, which yes. is what happened. But my my point is, my point is, this happened two years ago, and now it appears two years later that this is biting the same talent in the ass because they they signed these deals. And now all of a sudden, Nick Khan and Vince are allegedly, I mean, uh, they don't really need to cut costs, but that's a story. we got to cut costs. And these guys with big contracts are getting cut. Well, only some of them. I mean, the ones that they, the, the ones that, I mean, most of the people with big contracts aren't getting cut. I mean, you know, Braun Strowman's the anomaly. And that's, you know, the Braun Strowman thing was, is that Braun Strowman got over because he was like the big guy. And once they decide to push Omos, um, you know, it, it's kind of like and Aziz, who are bigger guys, it's like his gimmick was over. And they had this $1.2 million a year deal with him. And it's like it didn't, it no longer made any sense, you know. So that was his thing. Bray, I'm sure it 
Well, I'm sure that it it didn't it didn't make sense in some ways financially, but I mean, you have replaced him with Omos, who is not as good as Braun Strowman, and Aziz, who is not as good as Braun Strowman, and uh, but I mean, we don't know anything about Shanky. He's done like one angle or whatever. Well, I don't but, know if they're going to ever do anything with Shanky, honestly. I just yeah, I got all um, these giants, and I mean, Braun Strowman had a shelf life and everything like that, but he was still better than all these other giants he's been replaced with. He was bad. Yeah, he's much better, but. You stand him next to, um, you know, he, you know, you stand him next to Omos, and the whole gimmick is gone. <laughs> well, don't stand him next to Omos then. Yeah, but he's on. You know, it's like then you stand him next to Aziz, and the gimmick is gone. I mean, he's on the same <laughs> show. I mean, the, as soon as those guys got pushed, it was kind of like I said to everybody, I go like, you know, Strowman's gimmick is done. He can't be the giant when you got a guy who's. Nine inches and legitimately nine inches taller than him. You can't be the giant at that point. You can only market one monstrous giant on a brand unless you market two. And if you market two, you know, eventually they have to wrestle each other. And then when they wrestle each other and one guy's nine inches taller than the other, you know, you've killed them off right there. So it's like, like if he had more versatility, you know, like Drew McIntyre, you know, who couldn't, you know, can, doesn't have to be a giant. That's not his whole gimmick. He's a big guy. Um, it's one thing, but when your gimmick is, is that you're the, you know, the, the monster among men, um, when you got a bigger monster, you're obsolete. And so at that point, I mean, that's what killed Strowman. Plus, um, he wasn't as over as he was before. I mean, you know, and that was, he hadn't evolved and they, or, you know, and you can blame creative as well. You know, I mean, it's, it's not, it's not his fault only it's. It's two way street. Well, that's actually but... what I was doing was blaming creative and Vince McMahon. I mean, we've um, replaced you know, him with giants that are that are tall but are useless. I mean, almost is drawing no money. Aziz is drawing no money. Yeah, I, I mean, Strowman know, wasn't drawing Stroman, money either, but he could have a I match. Stroman, I don't know that Strowman was going to draw any more money. I mean, he has, but I don't know that he was going to in the future. Well, sure, but I mean, you could put him in the ring for twelve minutes, and it would be fine. I don't think you can put almost in the ring for 12 minutes alone and it's going to be fine. Nor do I think you can but do the same thing with Aziz or with Shanky but, or anybody else. Yeah, but that's got nothing to do with it. You, 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 so you have a guy who can't be the giant anymore, who is a below par worker, but he's a little bit taller than Drew McIntyre and he's got a good body. Um, it, 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 it loses, you know, it loses the gimmick. That's all. You know, I mean, it's just. That's what happens when you, um, you know, I mean, it's just the natural thing, you know, when you're, when you're, um, you know, I mean, basically they got rid of big show when uh, Stroman came along. Um, you can't have too many of those guys because you can, you can really only do one in a brand. And if you got two, um, they better be able to work with each other and they better be near the same size or else one of them is not going to look like a giant anymore. And the minute that almost showed up, it was like, that's it for, uh, you know, that's it for Stroman. So that was the deal. But, I mean, they're interested in Stroman back at a lower price and things. But who knows what's going to happen. I guess I guess he signed up to do a show in Qatar, so I guess he's going to do some indie, you know, and he'll probably get a big payday out of that. But um, but those things don't, you know, those, those things happen, but they don't uh, happen often, so. Uh, we'll see what happens with him. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, but I mean, as far as, uh, I mean, he's the only like real big money guy that they cut. I mean, as far as everybody else, it was just mid-level, you know, mid-level guys and people they weren't using anyway. Um, Bray is, is obviously, you know, I mean, Bray's unique in the sense that that gimmick, if you're not going to push that gimmick as a monster, then that gimmick's dead too. And evidently, you know, once Randy Orton beat him, that took a lot of edge off of him. And then I I don't know that the health issue doesn't play into it. I don't know. I mean, he was a merchandise mover. I don't know that, uh, you know, again, maybe Vince thinks he can bankrupt AEW by getting rid of big money stars. I don't know what Vince is thinking. You know, Vince is, uh, I mean, he's obviously, you know, I mean, he's in a war and he knows it. And, uh, uh, and, you know, he's in a lot more of a war than a lot of people realize, and he's a lot more in a war that, but, I mean, he's not, not like it's going to hurt him, but it's, uh, I mean, he's still going to be uh, leaps and bounds financially ahead, but, um, 
you know, from a, you know, whatever, whatever, you know, television rating standpoint, live attendance standpoint, he's in a war right now. And, um, that will be, uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's happening. Some people don't see it, but, uh, um, a lot of people see it. I mean, the fall is going to be, it already is. It already is the most interesting time in wrestling since, uh, 98 when it comes to that type of stuff. So, uh, we'll have to, uh, you know, I mean, Vince, Vince, it was, you know, very interesting. Vince went in there and said that they're not competition. The old line that he used to use with Jim Crockett, that they're nothing like WCW. And I mean, you know, it is too early. WCW did, you know, go ahead of them and AEW will not go ahead of them from a financial standpoint. That's not going to happen. Um, the gap is too big. Um, AEW may beat them in, in ratings. That's very plausible. Um, I don't think they'll beat them in live attendance, but uh, in some cities they will. In some cities they already are, um, in big cities. Um, but I mean, as far as um, so, it's it's it's. But it, but I would I would call it more of a comparison with uh, Hulk Hogan, um, WWF in the late '80s, and Jim Crockett Promotions more than WCW um, and uh, WWF in the late '90s. Um, but you know, the WWF thing, I mean, the WCW thing still was only a couple of years and did end in complete stupidity. And thus far, um, I have seen no signs. I mean, the thing is, is, you know, you WCW, um, you know, I mean, Ben still thinks it's like some Ted Turner plot and everything like that and, and all, but, um, I mean, WCW went down not due to Ben's, they went down due to incompetence. And I've seen no sign of uh, complete incompetence in, in AEW to where they're going to collapse in two years. But, um, yeah, I mean, no sign at all. So, uh, but, you know, who knows? I mean, because with WCW, I always saw the signs. We saw the, we saw the signs when they were on top. We used to talk about it. When they were on top and they were selling out every show and they were winning the ratings, we saw the incompetence. They just had, you know, they, had the, they, they were loaded with named talents. And AEW is not anywhere near as loaded with name talent, but they put on a much, you know, better booked wrestling show and much, much more exciting wrestling show. And uh, in the long run, I don't see them, you know, I mean, you never know what's going to happen, but I, I don't see them just like falling off a cliff. They may, you know, I mean, Jim Crockett promotions did too. So a lot of people fall off a cliff, but I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. I mean, they'll never be as bad as WCW was at the end. There's no way. They couldn't be. I mean, they'd have to be, they'd have to have to, you know, they'd have to be like seven lobotomies to be that bad. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.